Yeah. Hey everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful Saturday morning? It's probably not Saturday morning when you're watching this, but for me, it's Saturday morning. Thanks for stopping by for another video. I really appreciate it. I just, I wanna be super upfront and get right to the point here. This is not a sponsored video. Uh, no one's paying me money to make this video. No one is sponsoring this. This is a product that I actually really believe in. I don't make videos about anything unless I think it's really cool. Even if it doesn't fit into my day-to-day -day workflow, I'll make a video about something that I think is cool that some of you might enjoy. This is something that kind of saved my ass a little bit and I didn't expect it. And before we get into that, it's been a while since I've enjoyed a nice espresso with you all. Cheers, thank you guys for being here. Oh, in true fashion, that's really hot. Okay, before we get into it, I do wanna say that I do have a Patreon. There's a link in the description below to go check out my Patreon. In the Patreon, I do like pretty in-depth mixed tutorials, uh, different techniques. I just posted one over there about pocketing vocals, the next video that will go up in a couple days about tuning vocals, uh, and then I'm gonna do a whole series on EQ. EQ every instrument, exactly how I do it. Um, and then there's cool merch, there's mix breakdowns. I go through every single detail of a popular mix that I've worked on. You get to see every setting, every compressor, every EQ, how I routed everything. Patreon is a way for me to host really in-depth content that just frankly won't work here on YouTube. It'll just never hit the algorithm and none of you will even see it, even if I posted it. The Patreon is where I do that. There's a link in the description below. There's cool merch, mix more music, t-shirts and hoodies and all kinds of stuff. So go check that out if you want really in-depth tutorial style content. Okay, these are the ISO Acoustics ISO pucks. When I got my Trio 11s back here, some of you probably seen the video, they were really, really high on my existing stands because they're much taller than my old speakers. And I was gonna uh, order a very well-known higher end monitor stand, but they were like 12 weeks out uh, from the time that I paid for it. And I'm like, well, I can't wait 12 weeks. So I just went and got some concrete blocks. Let, let me show you. All right, so here is the Focal stack you guys have all been asking for. Uh, so those are the Focal Trio 6 BEs. These are the Focal 11, Trio 11 BEs, but these are the isopucks. These are what really saved my life. And uh, just put one on each corner. You can use three as long as the weight works out and it's stable enough. But these are the concrete blocks that I that I put up there and then the little rubber mat and then the isopucks. So we're going to take those Trio 6s and we're gonna put them right here. But when I set those Focals on the concrete blocks, they coupled really hard. The whole room was vibrating. So I went to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot and I got like some real soft, squishy floor mat and I cut it up into squares, you saw it there. Um, and I put it below the concrete blocks and on top of the concrete blocks with the speakers on top. Uh, and that helped. It did help because the idea here is you want to decouple your speakers from its environment. You want to make sure none of the vibration from the speaker transfers into the room. That's the ultimate goal. It helped, but it didn't fix it. So I got a, a set of these ISO pucks here um, and put them on top of it. I could probably pull out the rubber mats now. I just haven't done it. And it literally transformed how it sounded. It was really, really impressive. So now a bunch of you have been asking why I have two pairs of the Focal Trios and full disclosure, uh, Focal sent me the second pair to do a review because the sixes, the Trio sixes are way more appropriate for most people than the Trio 11s. You gotta have a big room for the Trio 11s and honestly a big budget. The Trio sixes are more affordable and they're way more appropriate for smaller rooms. So I wanted to do a video comparing them. Focal sent me a, a second set so that way I could like, uh, or a set of sixes so that way I could do a direct comparison video on them. And then once they got here, I realized that I would have to be literally picking up my 11s and putting them on the floor to put the sixes on the pucks in order to actually do a real test. So I got a set of these pucks again, another, a whole nother set. And so in a second, we are going to put these under the Focal Trio sixes so that way the speakers can live side by side. Point is, these will make any speaker sound better. Literally, it doesn't matter what speaker you're using, it doesn't matter how big it is, it doesn't matter how expensive or how cheap they are. Again, not sponsored. This is one of those products that I'm like, everyone should have this. Everyone should have this. They're not crazy expensive. They do make three different sizes. Let's just pull it out of the box and show you. They do make three different sizes, um, and so you want to figure out how much your speakers weigh because each size has a weight limit. So here are the pucks. That's all they are. Now, what's interesting about these is, first of all, they have, you can see that's kind of concave. 
they have kind of a suction cup action. Like once you set the speaker on it, they like stick to the speaker and they don't move. Uh, and the other interesting thing about this, and you can see how there's like metal. Let me zoom in here. You can see how there's like this, this metal ring right around here. And so basically what that does is this metal ring ensures that the, the dampening of this only moves straight up and down. It can't move side to side or front to back. And what's cool about this is this means that the speaker as it's vibrating won't get pushed front to back because this is really holding it and only allowing the movement to go up and down, which is exactly what you want. So they make three different sizes for three different weights. You can pick them up at Sweetwater. Sweetwater is not sponsoring this video, but you can pick them up at Sweetwater and I'll put links in the description below so you can go check out these isopucks if you want. But uh, it's truly just something that I, I highly recommend. I wanted to show you guys. It's not a gimmick. It's well worth the money. Um, and this is all in my opinion, of course, but my experience with them was pretty crazy. Uh, so just wanted to show these off to you guys. Let's, uh, let's put these down and get the Focal Trio 6s put up so I can start working on them. Oh, but don't forget, links in the description for the Patreon and for this. So here's a good comparison of the size difference. These are the Isopuck 76. These are the biggest ones. And uh, this is the smaller size. And there's three sizes total, but you can see like the difference in size between these two. So that was a quick look at the ISO Acoustics ISO Pucks. And uh, yeah, I can't recommend them enough. Truly, again, not sponsored. I feel like I have to keep saying that. Nobody paid me for this video. Super cool product. Check them out, links in the description. Check the Patreon out, link in description. And stay tuned for the full review of the Focal Trio 6BEs and comparing them to the 11s. All right, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.